Hello guys, good evening to everyone, I'm Thales. I'm the owner of this channel dedicated to English language. So, what do we talk about here? We deal with English grammar, vocabulary, and stuff like that. Everything that is related to English language. This video is part of my playlist uh, named Intermediate Advanced, right? This series is entirely recorded in English, so if you want to watch videos explained in Portuguese, I suggest that you watch my other playlist, which is the basic one, right? Basic videos which are explained in Portuguese. What are we going to study today? We will cover the topic of countable and uncountable nouns, yes. In my basic playlist, I guess I have already covered that, so we will see some examples, some words which are countable and why they are countable and uncountable, okay? Let's go, let's get started. Let's get started. How, how is everything today? The weather is very hot again. I, I hate hot weather. But anyway, I can't do anything about it. What is a countable noun? Countable, as the noun says, is something that can be counted. One, two, three, four, and so forth. For example, when you say apple, you can say one apple, two apples, three apples, and so forth. So this is a countable noun, right? There are many ways, many words which are countables. Countable nouns, they have singular and plural forms. And plural, in general, you add S in the end of the noun. Of course, there are some, some rules you have to be attentive to. We will see some of them, right? Just remember, there, there are some videos covering plural, right? Rules uh, of plural, plural forms. And they are, I guess, in my basic playlist. So you just open my playlist and search by topic, okay? Because all my videos are classified by topics, right? They are listed according to the topic we are talking about. Um, let's see some examples where which we can use plural or singular for i drank two cups of tea you know tea itself is uncountable you don't say one tea two teas three T's, but there are some words which help you measure the amount you have drunk. So, using expressions such as cups, bottle, glass, bowl, right? The, these expressions, they help you quantify, right? Expressing quantities. How many do you need, right? How many glasses did you drink? How many bottles did you bring or did you buy? How many bowls did you, did you have, right? And so, so on. I drank two cups of tea. So I ask you, how much tea did you drink? When you say that, you see, T is uncountable, but I could ask the same question. How many cups of tea did you drink? So it's a different way of asking the same question, right? But here we have plural because I'm using the word cup and the cup is countable. T, on the other hand, is uncountable. When I have countable, 
nouns, I use how many to, ma to make questions regarding the quantity. And how much is used when I don't have the quantity specified, right? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Um, so, let's see some examples of uncountable, right? We will see many more examples. I'm just covering the concept here, okay? I like to eat rice. Rice, okay? Brazilians, they love to eat rice and beans. Rice and beans. Yes, I love rice and beans. I love to eat rice. Rice nowadays is pretty expensive in Brazil. There are many jokes around covering this product because the country is exporting uh, a lot of rice or much rice to other countries, whereas the consumption in our country is decreasing as the price is rising, right? Anyway, this is econom economy, right? I like to eat rice. Rice is uncountable. You can't say one rice, two rices. It doesn't exist, okay? He likes to listen to music. Music is uncountable. You don't say one music, two music, Free music, it doesn't exist. So you use this expression, or, or sorry, this word is used only in singular. It doesn't change, it doesn't vary, it doesn't have a plural form. Okay? Do you like to listen to music? What kind, uh, what type of music do you like to listen to? Right? Uh, on the other hand, for example, tracks. I listened to the CD yesterday. I guess nobody listens to CD anymore, right? CDs are outdated. People nowadays, they listen to Spotify, Deezer, right? They use apps to listen to music. But before, back then, when you bought uh, CDs, Sometimes I buy CDs, but only for collection purposes, right? I have a, a variety of CDs, Italian music, I love Italian music. So, for example, one CD can have maybe 12 tracks, 12 songs, right? How many songs does the, the CD have? This is countable. Actually, you can say one song, two songs. How many songs did the, the singer sing at the show? For example, I went to a show and she sang 10 songs, 10 different songs. You can count how many songs, right? But you can't say music. One music, two music doesn't exist, right? She doesn't drink enough water, right? During the day, she doesn't drink enough water. How much water do you drink during the day? Do you drink a lot of water? It's advisable to drink glasses of water, many glasses of water. For example, you can say, ah, I, I drink five glasses of water per day. Glasses are countable, but you can't say one water, two waters, doesn't exist. Okay? So, just some examples. We will see more, okay? Uh, before countable nouns, we can use articles, right, to express, uh, to, to be close to this word. For example, a student. She's a good student. 
you use an indefinite article here, right? Because a student is countable, you can use. But if I want to say they are good students, I don't use indefinite articles. For example, they are excellent students. Not only good, but they are excellent. Excellent students. By the way, adjectives, they don't have plural either, right? They don't change. In Portuguese, adjectives, they have uh, plural forms as well as nouns, but in English, you don't change them. They are excellent students. Here, I don't use article. I don't use indefinite articles here. Here, in singular, I can use, okay? When you want to say, for example, she wants apple. Is it correct or wrong? It's missing something, right? You have to use an article here. So, when you have countable nouns alone, you can't use countable nouns alone right here. You have to use, for example, an article, right? Depending on the case. You have to use a possessive pronoun, uh, right? A, not a possessive pronoun, an adjective pronoun, right? My, your, his... For example, my book, right? I want my book. I want my book back. I lent my book to my friend, to a friend of mine, and he hasn't got my book back. He has to give it back. So I say, I want my book back. Bring it back tomorrow, please, will ya? So, I want my book back. This is an adjective pronoun which follows the noun here. I can't say I want a book. You have to use I want my book, I want a book, right? You have to use an article or a pronoun depending on the meaning you want to deliver. You can also use, depending on the case, of course, the definite article. But definite articles, they aren't used in every situation uh, and neither are indefinite articles used in every situation. So you have to pay attention to study some of the rules so that you can check when to use them or not, right? So, be aware of that. As I mentioned, uncountable nouns, you don't use a or an, but you can use instead ways to quantify cup, bottle, grass, glass, bowl, a grain of, right? A grain of salt. A grain of salt, right? Is an example. A packet and so forth. When you use uncountable nouns, on the other hand, you can use the nouns alone. You don't need to use articles, pronouns, or or or. or Yes, articles, pronoun, pronouns, na, adjective pronouns, or definite articles. Indefinite or definite and adjective pronouns. You don't have to use any of them. For example, I hear good music from here. From here. I will rewrite because my spelling was terrible. I hear, right? Good music from here, right here. Good music. You don't have to use my good music 
very good music, a good music. No, it's wrong if you use. So, uncountable nouns I use mostly alone, right? She eats rice every day. I don't eat rice every day. I like to vary depending on, on the day. I like to eat vegetables. I like to eat meat as well. I try to vary to make my, my meal as healthy as possible. <laughs> okay, well, we haven't finished this topic yet. We have something else to cover, but we will see later next video about um, more we will see more examples of countable and uncountable right uh, just reviewing some of these examples countable and uncountable will account for many lessons in the future right many lessons we have to cover there is much content to cover from here so don't forget subscribe Hit the notification bell and give a thumbs up if you like my videos, okay? So, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.